YouTube, Jay Stevens here. Have a long, long overdue uh, unboxing. It's for my uh, Tavor. Stale. Oh yeah, there we go. Nothing in the box. Got the IWI Tavor rifle carrying case. I ordered this from IWI. I don't think I got it on sale. They're average around, I think they're 145. I may have gotten it off of Amazon for 140 or 135 to be totally honest. I do not remember. I don't even think you need to know that particular part number, but There it is Let's see trying to recall here. I know they come in black and this was the flat dark earth obviously that matched my Tavor So you know goes without saying let me grab the rifle watch out Spartacus alright run through label too large heavily here hell you read while I speak Two large, heavily cushioned and secured compartments hold your Tavor SAR and two handguns in one case. Molly compatible webbing on the exterior of the case comes standard with three gusseted pouches lined with water resistant interiors. Elastic Molly webbing on the interior opposite the handgun compartments holds up to five to thirty wait, holds up to five thirty round five five six magazines. And multiple mag uh, magazines. Harrisburg, PA, but the dreaded made in China. I hate when they do that. I think you're getting something cool and then, you know, they pop the old China on you. Uh, you know, I don't really have a lot of gun cases, but uh, my UTG that I have for my AR, that, that held up pretty good. In terms of like standard range wear and things like that, I really don't think it it matters. Uh, they all uh, hold up pretty well. Spartacus wants to get in my lap, so uh, let me get him out of here. Get out of here, bro. All right. So yeah, what I was trying to say is I really don't think cases matter. I mean, you pick it up, you put your stuff in it, you take it to the gun range, I mean, that's very minimal wear and tear. Okay, not the strongest Velcro in the world. I'd say medium. Not quite as dense, uh, thick as my 511 bag, but not bad. I mean, I don't want to start knocking it just yet. What else do we have? Let's go. Let's go outside pockets first. There are two models. There's what they call a multi-gun and then single gun. The single gun is for your, your SAR and then your nine millimeter conversions. It'll have a spot for your barrel, the tools, and things like that. The multi-gun is not for multi-rifles. It's actually for your handguns. So let's have a look there. The pulls seem decent. Zippers seem very durable. They're not getting caught up yet. Okay. All right, this is not the handgun multi-gun one. This is the, for the conversions I was telling you about. 
as you can see right here, that would be for your bolt carrier, receiver group, and then whatever else. This part is probably the barrel, and then this pocket is for your tool. Since this is the 9mm, hopefully the, the 300 Blackout will be coming soon. That was at SHOT Show 2016. They were talking about it. This is for your 9mm vertical mags. You can see these are a little skinnier. The thicker ones are for your regular mags. So I got an IWI mag here. here. If they're giving you three loops, regular P mag. So you can load them up. It's not like it's a pocket, so I see what they're doing. Another mag. Oh, pretty good. So you can get five in there. And then I really don't, normally, you could probably just zip this up, use it more as a pouch. Stuff all the rest of your mags in there, whatever you need, paperwork, targeting sites, tools, lasers, whatever you want to do. Got webbing along the outside. Yeah, as you can see, these do come off. Okay, that's nice. So if you don't like these pockets, get uh, take them off. All righty. How about the outside? Seems to be reinforced. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Different hooks and attachments. Let's get to the main compartment. Wide zippers. They seem to zip easily. All right, check that out. <laughs> little IWI hat. With the red brim. Cool. I may have paid for that. I don't know if they threw that in there or not. Or complete case. Flat dark earth. $149.99. And an IWI hat. $14.99. They hit me with $11 shipping. From Harrisburg, PA. Thanks for your order. Alright. And a sticker. There's your buckles. Alright, let me speed up. What else? Little pockets in here. This is the 16 and a half inch barrel, so as you can see, it fits perfect. So looks like we undo it like this. Pop this in here like that. Just common sense approach, really. Looks like this guy goes there. This case actually fits. I like that. Let's see if I can tighten it up and get it to snug down. Aha, my bad. There you go. And then this goes perfectly around the handle it looks like keep your uh, firearm nice and secure looks like the lever it'll just be really cushioned here all right there let's see excuse me got a big box of tula some small stuff wolf federal Big giant box of 100 cartridges. Let's throw that in and see how that fits. Oh yeah, that fit perfect. Then you can layer in your 20, 20 cartridges box. 
what's that, uh, 140. There you go, that's a good range. Good practice session right there. Oh yeah, it's growing on me. Watch your lengths. What I've observed is on the, there's longer barrels now. With, there's a rifle that's strictly made for, heaven forbid, uh, New Jersey, Massachusetts, and that. And it's got a little part number with a built-in, permanently attached muzzle brake. Uh, that, that won't fit in this. And I believe you got to watch one of the California guns as well. But all the traditional, standard ones, uh, as you can see, will fit. All right, Jay Stevens saying have a good day and forgot to do one thing. I'm just making this up, but uh, have to christen my new bag other than putting the gun in it. Name tape, bang. Reminisce of the old days. Put it right there. Kind of cool, Navy days.